my previous video talking about how happy I was that the sun was out. This is a nice change. I'm just going to take it in. <sighs> well, I think I spoke too soon. I think I should just stop talking about the weather from now on. <laughs> Hey everyone! So I'm in the mood for a pep talk today and I've seen so many posts on social media and on other platforms asking questions about what life is like in the Disney College program being placed outside of a park. So that's kind of what this video is on today. Now before I start this video, this is going to be all about uplifting your spirits and encouragement. So if you're looking for a pros and cons video, this definitely isn't that. But I encourage you to stick around because later on in this video, I will be talking about why it's not the greatest idea to be looking for pros and cons videos. So stick around. For my OG subscribers out there, Thank you for that. You do know that I worked at Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resort in my previous program. So you know I was placed outside of a resort during my first international college program. Now at first, myself as well as many other newcomers, um, I was a little bit discouraged by this because I think when you're first entering the Disney college program, your mindset is that you're going to be placed in a park because that's kind of what you think of when you think of working at Disney is working in a park. I was a little bit discouraged by this, but I can tell you that after doing the program working outside of a park that it was the experience of a lifetime. So that's why I'm making this video is to encourage others out there that are working outside of a park that you have nothing to worry about and I want you to have the same experience as me if not better. I'm going to start with a couple pros that I have and then I will give some tips and tricks on how to go into your program or I guess experience your program in the best way possible without bringing negativity into your life. To start, some of the biggest pros for me working outside of a park in my first program was one, I didn't deal with the park craze every day, so it was a little bit of a more relaxed environment. The second pro I have is at my location, I had a constant group of the same guests coming in and out, so I got to know people a lot better and I could talk to them about how their day has been and it was just really great getting to connect to people on a more personal level. Now at places like Disney Springs you might not do the same type of idea but you still don't have to deal with the park craze so you still have that pro. The third pro I have is the work hours. So I had a bit of a more consistent schedule. Working in a park, you may have a little bit more of a crazy schedule because you could be working until like 4 a.m. or I guess get home until 4 a.m. Whereas working in a resort or working in a location outside of a park, you might close up your area a little bit earlier or you might open a little bit later so you'll have more consistent hours and you might get to have a little bit more sleep because of that and sleep is always good. The fourth pro I have is going to the parks on your days off is just that much more magical. You're not experiencing the parks every day while you're at work so when you go to the parks it's just like a whoosh in the face because you're like, ah, oh, this is great. I haven't done this all week and now I finally get to. Now I know a lot of people who have worked in the parks have argued that their experience going to the parks is more magical, but it's kind of an apples and oranges situation because both reasons are so different that you can't compare them. So either way, it's still awesome. And one of the last biggest pros for me for working outside of a park was the close workspace environment you have. So you usually have a smaller amount of cast members in your area, so you get to know everyone a lot better and you become like a family by the end of your program. That's about it for some of my biggest pros for working outside of a park. I have a couple tips to provide for all of you to make your experience that much better and to keep the positivity in your life. My number one tip is to not look up pros and cons of working outside of a park. I know this is hard to do and I know it's just super tempting, but the reason why I say this is because when you're looking at pros and cons, a lot of people have very different opinions and very different experiences. Some people could have a really bad experience in their program and their cons could be really discouraging for you. 
and that could really discourage you going into your program or during your program and that won't create a happy headspace for you. So as hard as it sounds, try not to look up pros and cons because the experience is all about you and how you handle it. So that's one of my biggest tips. Another tip I have is that if you find out where you're working before your program, start researching your location and really immerse yourself into that environment because when you research about it and really get to know where you're working, it'll make you passionate about it and excited and amped up about it. And the last tip I have overall is just to have an open mind. And this goes for every role. Realistically, everyone's going to have such a different experience. I know some people that have loved working outside of a park, have hated working outside of a park, but I also know some people that loved working in a park or hated working in a park. Everybody's experience is just so, so different and it's person to person. The best you can do is take what you have and create the best magic you can with it. And I know that sounds cliche, but it's really about the magic you can create with it because hi, Mickey Mouse is your boss and you get to go to the parks for free on your days off. Like how awesome is that? Just really try and focus on everything else that the program is about because it's not just about the work. I mean, obviously you're gonna be spending most of your time during the program working because that's what the program is about is working. But think about the fact that you're waking up in Florida every day next to palm trees. And for someone like me who lives in Canada, like that's a big change and that's awesome. You're living in Disney. You get to see like princesses and princes and animated characters walking around all the time. You get to see parades and fireworks. You have an endless supply at Dole Whip for the price of however much that is. <laughs> You'll be living with people from across the globe. Like, hi! And you're gonna be making some of the best friends that you'll have in your entire life. And I can guarantee you that I've made some of the most amazing friends I've ever had in my whole life from my program and I'm so so excited to be going into the program again just for that very purpose. You're going to be meeting some incredible people. So try not to let your work location discourage you because it's all about your headspace and going into it with an open mind. I promise you that Disney is Disney. It's still Disney. It's still Disney, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be magical no matter what, I promise. Hopefully that pep talk helped any of you who are a little bit discouraged. And hopefully you can go into your program now with a little bit more of an open mind and a more positive attitude. And I hope you have the best time of your life like I did and I'm so excited to experience it again. If you have any questions, feel free to private message me or comment down below so everyone else can see them as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all real soon.